Hi everyone, this week's Take and Make project it's is- Pizza, huh? You got pizza for us? I'm so- Okay, not pizza. What are we doing? This week's project is a DIY pinball machine. Okay, that sounds fun. Get, make the pinball machine, then have pizza. It's like Chuck E. Cheese. Remember that place? So if you want to make one of these at home, try and get a pizza box. We have popsicle sticks, two different sizes, jumbos and regular. We have a bunch of rubber bands. We've got a clothes pin. We've got some brass fasteners, paper clips, a marble, which you'll need. And then you'll want some markers, construction paper, tape, hot glue, scissors. Whatever you want to decorate your game however you want to. Anyway, there's no wrong way to do this. So the first thing we recommend doing is opening up your pizza box and you can go ahead and cut off the top and side flaps so you have some extra cardboard to work with. All right, so we've got our sides and our top cut off, and I actually went ahead and cut off a little bit of extra from the top of the pizza box. All this cardboard is gonna be great for us to use when we're building the inside of our pinball machine. So now that you have your pizza box cut like this, you'll want to fold back this lid. So you're actually opening it up like completely open onto itself, okay? And like fold it really well, like crimp that right there, okay? And then you're going to do the same thing on that little portion, this little back portion that kind of made up the back of the box. You're just gonna do that. You just kind of, kind of make sure you squeeze down on it and make it so it really folds in half. So we're like that. So now with that box folded like that, we are going to use these two tabs here. We're going to use that to help secure the back of our pinball machine. So it's kind of like the backboard to it where you would have like the score board and you could decorate this whatever way. And to do that, we would say use the paper clips or the brass fasteners. Okay. So I'm going to use the brass fasteners. I think Kristen will too. So let's go ahead, let's do that. Be careful when you're pushing these through, these fasteners, so that you don't go and poke your finger. So I push mine from the front to the back and I just have a little bit of the wings hanging off there. You just wanna bend them. Bend them down two different ways and it'll keep that up there like a, like a nut in a bowl. And do that to the other side too. Okay, nice, there we go. You could double check if it's working right if you put your marble at the top and it rolls down. There we go. So now we're gonna make something to launch your marble. So you're gonna use a clothespin, a popsicle stick, and a rubber band. And all you're gonna do is take that clothespin and place the popsicle stick right on top, one of the sides, Open it up, holding them together, and then use the rubber band to attach the popsicle stick to the clothespin. So you should have something that looks like that. And so now we're gonna glue down what we just made. You're gonna put it right against the front edge of your pizza box and keep it over in the corner. So when we glue it down, we'll have some way to launch our marble. We're gonna use hot glue to secure this. So we'll just put a little bit on here. That's it. So now that you've secured that ball launcher there, we'll wanna put in some cardboard that you've cut from the box and we're going to make like a channel or like a alleyway for this ball to shoot up to the top and kind of turn towards the game components where you're going to have the scoring. 
So this is going to be something that looks kind of like a candy cane, something that's bent like that. And you may need to put in a small um, corner piece up here that's rounded as well. So let's go ahead and do that with some cardboard. If you're following along exactly like us, I'm using the panel that I cut from the top of the box, the, like the front flange. That has got a nice straight edge on it. It kind of got a little dip to it on one, but that is the length of that box. And so now you could use that to make that like corner piece, that like hook. So now that you have that launcher with that like alleyway for the ball to shoot up there, test it out, make sure that it works. Wow, that worked really well. So now you're going to want to take the rest of the um, pieces that we've given you and some of the stuff that you may have at home. So the cardboard, you also have those extra popsicle sticks, a couple of rubber bands, another paper, um, another clothes pin in there. And now you can start to kind of design and create like wherever your scoring might um, end up looking like. So you can have simple things that just look like U's that kind of capture the, the ball. And those could be different points, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, depending on where they are. So let's go ahead and let's just kind of have fun with it. <laughs> Was it your first try? Yeah. <laughs> so that's how you can make your own DIY pinball machine. Go ahead and get as creative as you want with this, design it and decorate it any way you want, and we would love to see what you come up with. So make sure to share pictures with us. You can email us or tag us on social media and just have fun with it. Yeah. This isn't pizza, it's a pinball machine. You gotta make it. Some assembly is required. Boogers. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>